And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Minor League Baseball from the double-A level coming up. It's the Midland Rockhounds taking on the San Antonio Missions. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go. And on the hill, the lefty, Aaron Leisher. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. So digging in, Emmanuel Paquez. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. That's a laser base hit. Severino coming home. He'll score easily, and it's 1-0. And he's in at second with a two-out double. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Wander Javier digs in now. Here's a one-two. Runner breaks for third. Lifted in the air right center field. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that is that. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one. So the lineup flips over. Now here is Rubiel Angeles. He reached out a walk his first time. Three-two. And that's ripped for a base hit. Runner around third. He scores to tie it up. It's 1-1. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Emmanuel Paquez now at the plate. He doubled home a run at his first A-B. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. That misses. 1-0. and oh. And a swing and a miss. Can't get too big here, Boog, with the bases loaded. So now one and two. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. The one two. That's the third. They take the force out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Two runs in the inning, but they strand. One down. Here's the third baseman, Brett Harris. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. One down, base is empty. Into center. Paquez calls it in, two away. Now batting, the first baseman, Trenton. And welcome back. Here's a speed threat. Rubiel Angeles. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. That's towards center. Paquez in position. Drops into the glove. One away. Now the left field. So up next, Emmanuel Paquez. Emmanuel. 
Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Well, these guys doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They have yet to strike out, and they're averaging more than a hit per inning. Ball, that that's counts. a great recipe for success right there. Melian, the lead runner out at second. Severino out at first with nobody out. The next ball, offering misses, time. and it's 3-0. Ground ball could be two. Davidson over to second. Relay to first. Double play. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 -oh counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the... New inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Brett Harris. Leisure back to work. Out there to center, Jaquez under this one. And there's one down. Now that, the first base. So here's the cleanup hitter, Emmanuel Jaquez. Number eight, Emmanuel Jaquez. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And that one hops the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Now it's the shortstop, Wander Javier. Here's the pitch, runner on the move. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. Eighth inning coming up. The mission. Here's Logan Davidson. Now that is. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Jaquez pulls that one down, and that's the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors. Brett Harris, the next to hit. And a one-two. Back up the middle and a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. That's tremendous fight from him. And I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike. And he comes up with it. Well, at this point of the year, first day of the summer, teams are really starting to figure out who they are. No more excuses about cold weather or any inclement conditions. Now I think we'll start to see what this team is really made of as we move forward. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. baseball fans and welcome double-a baseball on the show coming your way it's the midland rockhounds taking on the san antonio missions first pitch coming your way next so just about set and our pitcher tonight Brent Honeywell Jr. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. 
Yeah, this guy's been real stingy, man. Not allowing guys to play the game, just keeping them at home played. I mean, just ridiculous. Sub one whip. I mean, he's dominating hitters. And a guy like this on the mound, one of the elite starters in the game right now. Jaquez makes the play, and there's one down. Batting third, the shortstop. Next to hit, Emmanuel Jaquez. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Swings through that one, 0 and 1. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch. It was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. On the ground to third, and it gets by him. Melian around third. He will score, and it's 1 0. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now the DH, Matthew Batten. The 0 2, and there he goes. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. They get a run on. And now Austin Beck looking to rebound today. He was 0 for 4 last night. Oh, and two now. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Emmanuel Jaquez. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Jaquez getting the start in center, batting in the cleanup spot, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. The wind of the pitch. Swung on, belted. That's back. And gone. A solo shot. Home run number 15 on the year. It's 2 0. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Welcome back at the play, Trenton Brooks. Honeywell back to work. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Jaquez hauls it in, and there's one away. Base is empty, one away. Now it's the second baseman, Max Muncy. His first at bat was a strikeout. And a pitch. Swing and a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That's about his textbook. Emmanuel Paquez getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. And there's a foul ball. Javier, the runner at second with one away. He swings and fouls one off. Ow. 
Ouch. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, a few things can go wrong when you are delivering a pitch. That grip, slip out of your hand, release point, wind up, all of those things. And I think it's safe to say at least one of those, if not more than one, got away from him. And the righty deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And here's the first baseman, Michael Cantu, one for two. You'll one. Comebacker could be two. Fires all for one. Ow! The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Emmanuel Paquez. He's already homered here in this one. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's two away. The designated hitter, Matthew. Well, when you start the season, your goal is to win that division and win it as convincingly and as early as possible. Well, they did just that. So the good thing, they'll be able to rest some players. If you've got some players banged up, they'll be able to bounce back. The challenging part is keeping everybody sharp and fresh for playoff baseball. A shutout in this one. Three nothing, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Welcome, thanks for joining us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Midland Rockhounds taking on the San Antonio Missions. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Almost ready to get underway. Our starting pitcher in this one, number 60. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep into games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Emmanuel Paquez stands in here, takes ball one low. And it's one and one. One strike. That one down the line and foul ball. The one two. And there's a ball. And that one missing low. And he walked him. Take your bait. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Now at the plate, Matthew Batten. Just two for 11 in the series so far. Move to first. Paquez back on a dive. The 3-1. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here here comes the pitch there goes the runner from first man that's a tough one to take on the full count but i guess he saw it really well it's a really nice plate appearance so digging in joshua mears 
Kickoff moved to second, and he's back in there. Haquez over at second. Batten at first with no outs. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Now the catcher up to hit, Brett Sullivan. Pick off move to second, and he dives back in safely. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Now the 0-1. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Puts it away for the out. To second with the throw and no chance to get back. It's a double play. We'll move to the third with no score. Two outs. Base is full. And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Jaquez. Strike one. Oh, and one. Next pitch one one. way upstairs. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. That one was ticketed for the gap, but couldn't get through security. Great job there of leaping, making the catch, and ending the inning. So the batting order turns over, and stepping in is the speedy Rubiel Angeles. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. All over that one right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Jaquez. Just missed. There's a strike. One and one. Good eye right there. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. One runs in. A second scores as well. We are tied at two. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. He jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. So two down, Matthew Batten will hit next. And there's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So up next, Joshua Mears. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. What a stop. Fires to first. Nicely done for the out. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play. And that ends the inning. Two outs. Runner on first. And here is Timmy Duarte. The 0-1. 
This to center field. Paquez makes the grab, and that's the inning. One error in the inning, but it does. One out, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Emmanuel Paquez. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing you want. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. Pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. In the air to left center. Thomas makes the catch for the out. And there are two down. No outs. Runner at first. Trenton Brooks now at the plate. One for three. The one two. In the air, center field. Paquez makes the grab. And there's one away. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And now, Austin Beck. Cops measures six feet even, 26 years old, and he was a third-round pick in 2021. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Makes the grab on the run, and there's one down. Now batting the second baseman. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.